A sentencing in the courts, not sitting well with some members of the public, Joel Strawn, a man in his 20s, found guilty of burglary and rape, given what one opposition senator charges is a light sentence, given the gravity of the crime. Our Danielle Dean spoke with the Minister of National Security on the issue. A nine-year sentence given to a serial burglar and a man who committed multiple violent crimes against women, including the 2023 rape of an 83-year-old woman. National Security Minister Gwen Monroe responds to a press statement by FNM Senator Michael Barnett Ellis, who says she is appalled and outraged by the unduly low sentence given to Joel Strawn, who is in his early 20s. If this is a matter involving a plea agreement, um, a request should be made from the office of the DPPS for the reason for the plea agreement. Um, the law permits them to have to tell the victim that. The law permits, the, or permits them to be able to speak to the victim to say we're about to enter a plea agreement. These are the terms. What do you think of it? Um, plea agreements can be influenced by the strength or otherwise of evidence. I do not have sufficient facts to be able to evaluate the matter. But a request can be made of the office of the DPP for what was a justification for them agreeing to that particular plea agreement. Minister Monroe cites weak evidence as an example of why suspects may receive a lesser sentence or even get off scot-free, adding that in order to properly evaluate the efficiency of sentences, persons must know the justification given. There are a number of cases that people don't plead to and then they're acquitted. The acquittal rate in sexual offenses is very high. So if there is an uh, so evaluation by the officers of DPP that in order to get a guaranteed conviction, in order to spare an 84-year-old um, lady from having to go through the trauma of going back in court and reliving that trauma, they determine that that's appropriate, that would be a matter to inquire of the DPP. The FNM government is the one who removed this authority from the AG a political appointee and gave it to an independently appointed DPP for this exact reason. Monroe says crime concerns not only the Ministry of National Security, but the public and every agency of government and vows to continually work towards its reduction. Danielle Dean reporting for The Bahamas Tonight. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for all things said and asked.